Okay? So think about it. Do as you please. You are all free. But I'm talking about a republic of Canada where we would have more sovereignty in our province and more sovereignty in our communities and the ability to be self-sufficient and not be reliant on these international forces to solve our problems because they ain't going to solve them, they're just causing them. We the people on a true grassroots movement can correct this and it's the only way as far as I can see. We'll talk about getting taxes back, fine. If you can get taxes back from your international agreement that you make through your birth certificate, that's your business. I won't consent to it because I don't agree with it to begin with. But ultimately, I don't see this as solving our problems. Because when those international troops come knocking at your door, they ain't going to even be able to read any documents you're going to hand them. They will rape, pillage, shoot our men, rape our women, and steal our children, and they'll publish it in the international media as the total opposite, that they are helping us and freeing us. They've done this over and over and over again. Anybody that tells you that anything to do with the United Nations, International Monetary Fund, World Bank, or any of their other blanket organizations, and any of these things are going to help you out and solve your problems, they're either totally misinformed or they're lying to you. So thank you very much for the time. If I've stepped on anybody's foot, well, I do apologize, but these things need to be spoken. I'm spending a lot of time reading the good book, the King James Bible. I'm starting to understand things a little bit deeper through this and shutting off the internet. Okay? I'm not pushing any religion. But I'm starting to understand things a little bit clearer through this. So thank you very much. And uh, I wish this organization all the best.